Position decimals with two decimal places on a number line. Let's take an example, 0 0.67 and 1.54. We draw a number line out. Start at 0. We could extend to the left into the minus numbers and finish at 2. Again, we could extend our number line as far as you liked. We can put 1 in the middle and then we can start adding to it from here. 0 0.67, let's look at that first. Well, halfway between 0 and 1, so 0 0.5, we know that uh, 0 0.67, 0, no units, 6 tenths and 7 hundredths. Let's quickly put units, tenths, hundredths over our hundredths over our other number. Uh, we first of all need to find where 0 0.6 is on our number line. So that's 6 tenths. So we've got um, 5 tenths, 6 tenths, 7 tenths, 8 tenths, 9 tenths, 10 tenths. Let's make that a bit better. Uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9 and uh, 1. So that's really 10 tenths is 1. We're gonna, not a very accurate scale, but we're okay. We're just drawing freehand to make the point here. We've got 0 0.6 here, we've got 0 0.7 here. 0 0.67 falls between 0 0.6 and 0 0.7. Let's make the brush slightly smaller and change colour for this bit. We use a bright blue. So we're going up in hundredths instead of tenths this time. So we should have 10 marks between 0 0.6 and 0 0.7. So that's 0 0.6 set, 1, 0 0.62. 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, and then uh, we can't go to 0 0.6 and 10 tenths because we're on to 0 0.7, we're on to 0 and 7 tenths, which we just say 7 tenths for. So um, we've got 6 tenths, add 7 hundredths really to make up this number because this number could, you could say 0 0.6, 0 plus Fine here to show we're not including that in our addition. Uh, 0 0.07. 0 0.67, you could say, is made up of 6 tenths and 7 hundredths. So that'll give us the same number. 0 0.67, adding up our hundredths and adding up our tens gives us 0 0.67. And so we can put 0 0.67 on our number line between 0 0.6 and 0 0.7. 0 0.67. Let's put 1.54 on our number line. We should be able to do this a bit more quickly now. Between 1 and 2, we've got 1.5, 1 and 5 tenths. Just changing the brush size. Um, and then we could split up the number line between 1.5 and 2 using increments of tenths. So 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. Sorry, one point, yeah, 1 1.5, 1 1.6, 1 1.7, 1.8, 1.9. I can't quite fit that in there. Let's do this a bit more neatly. So we've got 1 1.5, 1 1.6, 1 1.7, 1 1.8, 1.9, and 2.0. 1 and 5 tenths, 1 and 6 tenths, 1 and 7 tenths. We know that 1.54 falls between 1.5 and 1.6. So we're going to go up in hundredths this time. We'll use the blue again. We'll use the smaller brush size. And we've got 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 1.54, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 1 and 1.6. 1.54 is just under halfway between these two. 1.54. 1, 1 and 5 tenths plus 4 hundredths. And that will be the same as 1 and 5 tenths and 4 hundredths. What we'd say to keep it easy is 1.54. And that's how you place these on the number line. You can see from this diagram that 0 0.67 is further to the left, so it's a lower number than 1.54. Another way of phrasing that is 1.54 is greater than 0 0.67.